Hey everyone, how's it going? I know it's been a long time, hopefully you haven't forgotten who I am entirely, but uh, I really wanted to show off the Mercury 1 and talk about the progress that I've made since the last installment, which I think was five months ago now. So this is definitely not five months of work, but you can see what I've done since, and it has been quite a lot. So, as you can see here, the entire motion system is complete. Uh, moreover, the entire physical build of the printer is complete. I just need to, you know, clean up the wires a little bit. You don't even want to see what it looks like back there, just don't look. Um, do that, I gotta get firmware running, but then I'm pretty much done. We're running uh, EVA 2.4, or the Mercury 1 modified EVA 2.4, with the Orbiter 1.5 and the Dragon Ultra High Flow Hot End, so that'll be really cool to see how much flow we can get out of it. Probably only useful for like 0 0.6, 0 0.8 millimeter nozzles, but it'll be fun. I'm really not confident in this stock bed. Hopefully you can see that. Um, <laughs> I'm really not confident in it holding up to high speed Core XY printing, so I do have an idea to sort of modify the Z-axis too, but we'll see. Knowing me, that's going to take another, you know, year and a half, whatever, so <laughs> it'll be a while. Um, let's see, I did have some actual talking points here. Uh, the main thing was going to be, if you are building this, I would really recommend the YouTube channel Edge of 3D. He has a great build guide, more of an actual guide than what I've been making, and he goes really in-depth on things like belt routing, which is actually surprisingly hard to find information on. I do believe there are belts on the CAD file, but otherwise you sort of just have to, you know, go around and sort of figure it out. But he has a nice video where he shows you exactly where they go. Uh, to be fair, if you've ever wired something like a Voron before, the, this guy's, long story, there's stuff going on here, but it's the same exact belt routing as a Voron, uh, Trident V0 2.4, they're all pretty much the same. So anything like that, if you built it before, you'll be set for a build like this. One thing I'm doing that's not necessarily standard, as you can see here, well you can't really see, it's just a bunch of wire, but I'm going to try running sensorless homing, and this will be my first time ever running it on any printer, so I'm kind of excited to see how it works. Obviously uh, fewer cables would be nice, and as long as it works, I'm totally happy. So that'll be interesting. I'm probably going to move this to the other side though, this little uh, bump stopper type of guy, just because I don't want to be ramming the cables into it, which is what will currently happen. Um, so I'll probably switch that over, but no big deal. And that'll pretty much be the build. Obviously, I'm still going to do a part or two or possibly even more regarding firmware stuff, first prints, maybe calibration, I'm not sure. But we're probably 90% there at this point. Just got to plug in the wires a little bit more neatly, you know. I'll probably, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to just do spiral wrap or a proper cable sleeve, something else. Uh, no drag chains, obviously, though. Not really a fan of those. Although I believe there are mods if you are interested, but that might only be for the afterburner version. I'm not sure. So that's pretty much everything I actually have to show. I mean, that's pretty much everything in terms of the real physical build. It's not very complicated. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next part. Hopefully not in another five months, hopefully a little bit sooner than that. But otherwise, uh, have a good day and uh, best of luck with your own 3D printing projects. Alright, I'll see you later.